James one is James a tech guy. I'm going to talk about scribble maps today. So I'm just going to launch from uh, my web browser going to scribblemaps.com. And this is just an intro page and uh, a login if you have an upgrade. If not, then you can just immediately go to create maps or create map. And uh, from here, it's just login. It's going to give a tip and uh, you can X out of that. It's just telling you the features that you can get by having uh, an account membership. Uh, there is a fee for that, of course, but there's some great features if you just need a simple map and uh, you don't use it very often. But if you do, you can obviously join. So here you're gonna see, uh, you can pull in any particular map you want. So you can put, put in a city like Berlin, Germany. And uh, I think this is a great feature because you may really want to annotate, that is to write on the map itself and um, you know feature a few things. So you can do that. Um, I'm gonna just do one of Europe in general and just write on this particular map that I'm gonna create. So when you do this, it's actually gonna hit Europe, but it's gonna go above Europe. So what you do is hit the minus sign and this way you can you know go into the specific areas that you want. So just hit the minus button until you're done. Uh, there are several map options here in the lower right corner. Uh, map box, whiteboard, etc. Or you can hit, um, yeah, I prefer Google. I think it's a really great um, you know, source data. Hybrid road and satellite and terrain maps. Uh, hybrid, a, it's a good one to utilize, but I actually like for the purposes of what I'm gonna create right now is use the road map. Uh, it's gonna turn this into uh, the nation state. You see the country borders as well as the roads or the highways in Europe. And there's some features here. So I'm gonna to go to the menu and just point out a few things. Uh, you can create a map here, new map, save map, load and import, uh, save as a PDF or an image. Now doing this is that you are bound to uh, have a VIP membership. Otherwise you can't save it. You can save it actually, but it becomes a public file. You may not want to for privacy reasons, uh, if your name's on it or personal information, you definitely don't want to save that to a public file. Uh, but we're going to X out of this and just really, again, purpose of this video is to give a 50,000 foot view of this particular application. Now uh, here you can just you know, go along and point to different areas. You can use the hand to move the map to specific areas. Um, you can use this really cool feature. You can create lines if you really wanted to or you can do a flight map. Now, the frustrating thing, I'm not sure if it's a browser, it could be the browser issue here, is I was just trying to map on the flight path from, say, Chicago to Rome, and it actually is gonna go above that. So that doesn't work. So what you have to do is actually not start from there. You have to minus and hit plus again, and then you can use the flight map portion. So you can hit this, and um, it'll stick to the right area. So I was going from Chicago to Rome, I took a train all the way up to Northern Italy and then ended up in Turin, Turin to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Vienna, a train to Prague, I went to Warsaw, and you can uh, minus here, to, or actually plus, because maybe I want to see where I went to, I went to Prague. So I'm going to hit that, minus once, and then I know where Krakow is because that's the last point I left off and hit that to Berlin. So basically just a few flight paths I wanted to map here. If I wanted to record uh, maybe something like James's holiday, so what I'll do is I'll put the title in here, James's holiday. Save. So it's saved right here and you can use the uh, pointer to move this around any place you want this to go. And uh, it's a really nice feature that way. And you can uh, say, I wanted to point out a specific city. Maybe the city that I went to is not listed, uh, such as this. Maybe I want to do a circle here. And uh, I can use a different color here. Maybe I want that blue. Uh, so maybe I want to feature that as a blue coloration. So say on this, uh, I, I want to do a circle here and point out the city that I was in. So maybe I want to make this a, a darker color and I want to use the circle and I just want to put out right here uh, to signify that I was in Krakow. And I'm going to put a little note here 
that uh, this was Krakow, Poland. Save. So those are some of the features you can work with. Now, unless you're a VIP member, uh, you can't save this. Uh, again, if you want to save it, you can, but uh, here's what it looks like. Public, upgrade is private or secure, uh, an upgrade as well. So you really can't save it. I don't want to save this to a public because it has my name on it. And uh, maybe what I'm going to do is just hit the, in the Mac command is shift command three. And I'm going to just save this image as a screenshot. Uh, but for me, this is uh, a really great handy tool, and um, I think it's it's superbly well done. And I do like the city features. And let's take a look at the city map of Berlin once more. And I think this is really cool because um, the arrow that I drew in, or the the line, uh, is actually pointing right to Tegel. That's where I flew into when I flew into Berlin, uh, Germany. And uh, a very nicely specific map here gets some amazing detail. And uh, maybe I just want this in a slideshow, and I, I wanted to show people that I was in the uh, Unterlinden, so I can use that. I was in. Um... So maybe I want to show that I went from the Brandenburg Gate to um, the on the Unterlinden to the Pergamon Museum right here. So you can do some really cool features here. Uh, this is a nice feature to have if you're trying to show people directions or other features in, in, a, in the mapping software you, you're utilizing in here to Google. Here's the hybrid, so it's gonna give some names here. Uh, so right here, the Deutsches Historisches Museum. And so it gives some other uh, names here of the sites that you are looking at. The satellite image is a more of a 3D image. I'll zoom in just a bit so you can see that a little bit more closely and uh, get the hand to move this around just a bit there. Great little uh, application. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. I'm going to do more technology quick hits. So thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salute and Prost.